officials who are running Kherson in southern Ukraine are fleeing the city along with its civilian population. Orders to leave have been issued as Ukrainian troops advance through the region with an attempt to recapture the city expected soon. As she needs, let's get the sport here, Sales Lloyd. Thank you, Dan. Three days before their T20 World Cup campaign gets underway, England team bowler Rhys Topley has been ruled out of the tournament. Henry Moran reports. This is a big blow for England and awful luck for a bowler whose career has already seen more injuries than most. Topley rolled his ankle on the boundary edge during training on Monday in Brisbane and scans have revealed significant ligament damage. Timar Mills has been confirmed as his replacement. He's a fine option but someone himself without frontline cricket since August following a toe injury. Mills will bring raw pace and like Topley bowls with his left arm. The question is whether he can hit the ground running having missed so much cricket in recent months. This morning there was a stunning win for Ireland over Scotland. The fifth wicket partnership between Curtis Camphor and George Dockrell helped them chase down Scotland's 176 with an over to spare. In the same group, the West Indies beat Zimbabwe by 31 runs. Ailish McCogan's British 10K record has been invalidated. An investigation into this great Scottish run, which took place earlier this month in Glasgow, found that the course was 150 metres short. As an athlete, I had a little bit of an inkling that something maybe was a little bit short. I, I sort of finished, I, I know pace, I know uh, the distance. Jim and I have ran so many 10Ks now, you can become a little bit intuitive with it. And um, so when I crossed the line, I was a little bit surprised to see the time. And the first thing I said to my partner was, I don't know about that. I think maybe it's 15, 20 seconds out. I just could tell from the pace that I felt I was running at. Organisers of the race have been in touch with McCogan saying they're very sorry. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag says he's got nothing but respect for Spurs boss Antonio Conte. The two face each other in the Premier League at Old Trafford tonight. I a fabulous manager. He's winning titles, trophies with, um, uh, in the Premier League, in Italy. Um, and you can really see his signature in the match uh, from his team. And that's a big compliment, I think. Kickoff at Old Trafford is at 8.15. You can hear it on Five Sports Extra. There's commentary of Liverpool West Ham on Five Live Sport. The other three Premier League matches are available to listen to on the BBC Sport website and app. Wales play their opening match of the Rugby League World Cup this evening as well. They take on the Cook Islands in Lee. Ticket prices have been reduced by organisers to encourage more fans to get to the match. Elliot Kerr is the Wales captain. I'd rather a full stadium and people pay that much than half stadium and people pay more. If it was up to me, I think I would have given tickets out to you know a lot of the youth and schools in the area and just raised the awareness that way. A coverage of the game starts at 7 o'clock on BBC Two. Kickoff is at 7.30. That's the latest from BBC Sport. The best night forward. Moves in bold. And edge. And of the world's biggest teams head down under to compete for the ICC Men's T20 World Cup. This is just thrilling. The chaos. This is going to be big. Hit every ball of every match on 5 Sports Extra and the BBC Sounds app. The voice of the UK. This is 5 Live. Nahal Arthanaika. Listen live on digital, online, smart speaker or the BBC Sounds app. Actor, comedian, author Rob Delaney, of course star of Channel 4's Catastrophe, who said Hollywood rolls in Deadpool 2 and even the latest Tom and Jerry movie.